Okay, now I just forgot to tell you that we f uh, we have to first pour the bacteria and the iodized water, and then we have to seal it. So let's just quickly pour the bacteria first, and then the iodized water. So I will I'm just remove the lid. I'll keep it inside. Guys, take care that you wear hand gloves as the bacteria are not unfit. So, for as a precaution, you have to wear hand gloves. And uh, they also might cause some allergic problems too. Okay, now let's just pour, pour it. The one good thing about this is that it doesn't smell so lot so that you can easily pour it inside. Make sure that you press it and make it compact as much as possible. Okay guys, now we will pause the video and we will put the bacteria and we will start again. Okay now I will just dip the... I will just dip this electrode slowly slowly into the bacteria and this bacteria is mainly water content so it did, didn't take lots of efforts to dip it inside but make sure whether it will be solid whether it will be liquid you dip it till here means at the central part and now Okay, now let us pour the iodine solution that is water plus salt solution in this chamber. I will quickly remove it. Keep it here. So here is an iodine solution which is just water and salt. And I will carefully pour it down in here. And okay, make, and take care that it reaches up to top so that it becomes airtight and the air will come out of it as, as hydrogen will be generated will come out and will be stored if you have any container you can store hydrogen gas in it with the help of pipe and here we are going to close the hole to uh, keep maintain the level of hydrogen inside it and now we will pause the video okay so now we have we have completed our setup and now uh, make sure that you fill this iodized water completely till the rim to eradicate uh, air here and to also eradicate the chances of production of water here and now make sure one thing that we have uh, joined this cell here to this chamber for making suitable conditions for the generation of hydrogen so now let us pour some organic matter into this chamber where the anaerobic bacteria are present we are just pouring it into the chamber we are mixing we aren't doing anything we are just pouring it down and one last time now this much okay now i will just put, put on the layer here again take care that the electrodes are dipped straight and also completely immersed in the solution in order to prevent the wastage of electricity generated and also the electricity generated will be added with the potential difference provided with the help of cell and the now we will connect the multimeter with both the wires and see the generation of electricity yes. and the generation of hydrogen gas has been stopped now because it takes some times it will take nearly 8 to 10 hours to generate hydrogen so we will pause the video and we will show you the multimeter reading Okay, now we have connected a multimeter to our MEC and now we can see the results. They are very impressive results and as you can see, it's 555-54 millivolts um, and this uh, when we joined it at glance, it was just something around 530 and it has increased to uh, 555 at present at 
a very great spin and now it is keeping on increasing let's see uh, what will happen till the next morning so we'll meet back next morning bye bye thank you for watching our video